Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is where you are. I'm Andrew Littlejohn Johnson, attorney and founder of Littlejohn Law, and I'm here to discuss how tractor trailer wrecks are different than a typical car wreck. The first point is obvious. You have an 80,000 pound piece of metal in a big rig driving down the road, it's gonna do a lot more damage than a 4,000 pound sedan. The second point's more involved, and it comes down to not what went wrong the day of the wreck, <clears throat> but what the company did wrong, if anything, over their inception to the date of the wreck. And this could be many things that we get to the bottom of. And I have some people say, why would you blame the company for something a driver did? Well, the best response are more questions, which is, did the company have the right training? Did they follow up with the driver when other incidents occurred? Did they confirm that the tractor trailer was safe to drive? Did they confirm the driver was certified? There's a bunch of other things that we find out during the discovery process of your case. And this all boils down to one main point, which is that company put the public at risk the day you got injured. Why? And this comes back to our persistent pursuit of justice, not only for clients, but for the community. Because if we can prove in your case what went wrong with that company, then not only are you able to be made whole because the jury can see, here's everything that the company did wrong. My client needs to be reimbursed for the injuries caused by these inactions or wrongful actions. But it also shows the company what they've done wrong. And it allows them to see the problem and fix it. You can't pick, fix a problem if you don't know it exists. If you've been in a tractor trailer wreck, read the articles on my website. And if you still want to talk, give me a call or shoot me an email. I look forward to talking with you.